come together to help you find your wealthy place in God. Our foundation scripture, Thou has caused men to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water, but Thou broughtest us out into a wealthy place. Psalms 6612. Now, let's go right into the service. Well, hello, everybody. This is Michael Chitwood, and I want to welcome you to the Wealthy Place Church. We're glad that you're here. This is a wealthy place, and I believe that you're going to become very wealthy. Hello to everybody and welcome. Before I start today, I want to thank you for all of your emails. Thank you for your uh, praise reports and your testimonies. Uh, I know that something spectacular is happening in your life. I believe that something big is going to happen to your life and your life is going to become better. After all, we at the Wealthy Place Church and our entire Wealthy Place Church team want you to always remember that we're here for you, that you can do better. And our purpose is not only just the spiritual part, but the part that helps you live a better life. I don't know many people that want to live broke or poor. They want to have some money so that they can accomplish what God has put them here on this earth to accomplish. I've been speaking to you on a series, and this is part three, and this will be the conclusion of that series. I've been talking to you about know what you want and know that you keep on knowing it. In other words, you keep on believing. You keep on confessing because the God that we serve doesn't change. He's not up one day, down the next day. And I spoke to you about several things. And one of the things that so many of you, and by the way, I've invited the master mentoring team to be here with me today. And these are people that have accomplished very large things, extraordinary things. I'm so proud of all of the protégés that have moved to the level of the master mentoring team. There's not many of them, by the way, but there's enough that can produce good things for those that are coming up in our protégés. But one of the things I talked about uh, in our last series was, and the thing that got so many comments from everybody, was the fact that I said, made a statement that uh, talk is cheap. And uh, that seemed to really spark a fire in everybody through our social media networks. Uh, talk is cheap and results are everlasting and results cannot be denied. When you see somebody successful, you can't deny their success. It's there. But for someone to talk success that's not successful, you'll be able to recognize that. You also need to realize today that successful people do what unsuccessful people won't do. And I believe today that you want to be successful both spiritually and from the practical standpoint. Today, I want to speak to you about one of the number one reasons why that people never attain, obtain the dream. See, I believe that every dream is obtainable. And one thing you're going to have to realize is that when we point these things out to you and bring you a message, the message is from God, and it's something that you have to take action on. You can't just sit on it and do nothing. And from the response and from the testimonies and the praise reports, I can just see that something is taking place in your life that's extreme. I believe that you're having an extreme makeover. I'm calling it that today because I believe that many of you need an extreme financial makeover. And that's what's going to happen as you draw closer to your pastor and to your wealth coach. You're going to find that we're going to take you to a new dimension. You must remember something. Those 10 two-letter words, if it is to be, it is up to me. And when you hear the word today, you need to act upon the word and do something that will change your life so that you can make others better. One of my favorite scriptures as I open today's broadcast is Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 8. And it says this, it says, whatever or whatsoever good thing you do for another person. God will return it to you even bigger 
than what you gave out. And that goes along with to whom much is given, much is required. Because what God gives us, we're supposed to help others with it. And that's what we're doing. By the way, don't forget that I'm going to give you an opportunity to become a part of the platinum list. I pray that you'll take advantage of that because that gives you the opportunity to uh, enroll in the Wealthy Place Masterclass. And that's going to be great. By the way, we're starting to get this thing in its final phase and final form. And we're going to release this soon. I hope that you're going to be one that will pursue this and take one of these six very detailed subject matters and classes that's going to propel you into a wealth dimension that you have never dreamed of or thought of. So today we're going to do that. Ephesians 6, 8, whatever good thing you do for another man, God will do for you even greater and you will receive much blessing from your work. Today, I want to talk to you about one of the reasons why that people never achieve true success. I found this my entire life. My wealth coach and my mentor was my father. And he taught us a lot of things like don't ever let your, don't ever let anyone handle your money who has less money than you have. I have it written right here on this paper. And I want to talk to you about one of the things that dad taught me when it comes to accumulation of wealth. He always said this, Michael, refuse distraction from your mission. Refuse people that will get you distracted. He said to separate yourself from people that cause confusion. You know, a lot of people just love drama. Have you ever heard that statement that misery loves misery? Misery loves company, which is misery. Well, there's a lot of people that just love drama. Let me submit to you today respectfully that you don't have time for misery and you don't have time for drama in your life. That's not what God wants, confusion. In fact, he even says that he won't even dwell or stay where there's something divided or something that brings confusion. So today I'm going to speak to you about distraction. I'll use two examples today. I'll use an actual practical lady that's here on earth, and then I'll use Jesus as he was here on earth. So you have to make sure that you understand that you can't let anything sidetrack you. But it's important that when you establish your mission, that your mission will take place and you'll start to shape your own destiny. See, when Jerusalem lay in waste, Nehemiah spurred on the rebuilding when he said these words. You see the distress that we are now in. How Jerusalem lieth waste, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. Here, watch these words. Come and let us build up the wall in Jerusalem, that we may no more reproach the God of heaven. He will prosper us. The God of heaven will prosper us. Therefore, we, his servants, will arise and build. Nehemiah chapter 2, verses 17 through 20. So it tells us that the God of heaven will prosper us. It's there in his word. Why so many people skip over it or overlook it, I'll never know. But all I can do is read what God wrote. And he says, the God of heaven, he will prosper us. Therefore, we, his servants, must arise and build. The walls of this city were very important for the people's security in their life. It was Nehemiah's mission and destiny to build back that wall. And it was a mission he was clear about. He believed it more than anybody else. I want to ask you a question today. Do you really sincerely believe in your dream? Do you sincerely believe that you can be successful and you can be wealthy? Do you believe that you can become a millionaire, a multimillionaire? We've made many of those. Our mentoring team that's here today, they can acknowledge that because they've been a part of it. Many of these great protégés and advanced mentoring, they, they know that the millionaires have been made. 
They don't have to guess why, because they're a part of it. Four of these great proteges are already millionaires. My question to you today at the wealthyplacechurch.org is if they can do it, why can't you do it? That he uses a testimony that Jeff was in a place where that he didn't really believe that he could become wealthy and successful. But after I was able to get him into some of our multimillionaire seminars, Jeff started seeing that if the people that gave the testimonies then could do it, that they were no different than him. In fact, Jesus said that I am no respecter of persons. Why would he want one person to be rich and someone else to be in poverty? That's not Jesus. Jesus loves you and he cares for you. He wants you to be wealthy. He wants you to be successful. These are the things that he wants. He believed in it more than anybody else. Nehemiah believed he could build this wall. And when he was so strong in his conviction that it ignited a fire within others to see his mission and to help him accomplish his mission. Today, my mission is to reach the world that God loves you and God wants you to be wealthy. That's why I named it the Wealthy Place Church is because I want people to know that there's a multitude of wealthy people connected to the Wealthy Place Church. And as we bring this message across the land, I have to have team players that's going to be with me to carry this mission out. That's why that we have our, what we call our master mentoring team here. They're going to disseminate this message across this world. They already are. We're not letting anything stop us. And if you read further on in this book of uh, Nehemiah, you'll find that people tried to distract Nehemiah. Well, Jeff, people tried to distract you from following your dream and to following in your mission. And now he is a millionaire simply because he wouldn't let distraction, distraction come into his life. Nehemiah refused to be distracted. Jeff refused to be distracted distracted. There wasn't any question about that. That's a lesson that we all should learn today. Never let someone or anyone distract you from your own mission and from your destiny in life. See, God has placed something so powerful inside of you, and he's just waiting for you to execute. Oh, I wish I could get somebody to put that on the, on the screen today. Execute. You need to execute your dream. Some of you even need to wake up your dream. I just felt like that the Holy Spirit was prompting me to tell you that you had a dream several years ago. And God is instructing me to tell you to wake up that dream. That dream is possible. You can write a song. You can write a book. You can start a business. There's nothing wrong with you being your own CEO. I like the way that sounds. I wish you would just repeat that back to yourself right there. CEO. Many of these in here are CEOs. In fact, most, in fact, all of them are CEOs. They have their own business. They are their own chief executive officer. And you can be too. You getting results is more important than taking time with these petty things. Nehemiah said, I'm not going to be distracted by these petty things about what you're saying. You can't do it. It won't happen. We can't get it built. No, he stayed focused whether they're coming from your own mind or from somebody else's mouth, don't let anything distract you. When something pops up in your mind, that's a negative thought, cast it down. In fact, the Bible speaks about that. You know, the Bible is such a great, great book. Number one bestseller in the world has been for years and always will be. Guess what? It says that any imaginations that comes up against the word of God, you should cast it down. So when you have a negative thought, and we all do, by the way, but I have learned and trained myself, and I am very good at it, that a negative thought enters my mind immediately. I cast it down because you only have a few seconds to do that before it starts taking root. Let's keep our mission clear. Let's make sure that we're doing what we need to do so we can stay focused on what God has called us to do. Now, if you understand this today, you'll know that this was important. It was something that had to get done. See, the results that you're accomplishing right now are probably not where you need to be. And the reason for that is because you've never been taught or trained 
You've never been educated. You still have a lack of information in your life. And when you have a lack of information, you're never going to be successful in everything that God wants you to do and for you to become. That's the reason I said yesterday, you don't need to be the tail lagging around and dragging around and doing a tailspin. No, you need to be the head. And that's what the Bible says. It's important that we also relate this because we believe in the practical and the spiritual. I also wanted to give you an opportunity. It's important for you to get ready to receive the master class. We call it the wealthy place master class. Now, it's important that you know that the seed that you're going to sow today has to accomplish two things. And it will if you follow my instructions. Number one, when you sow a seed, the Bible says in the book of Genesis, as long as the earth remains, there will always be seed time and harvest. Farmer plants a crop, he will get a harvest. If he plants one roll of corn, he will get one roll of corn. But if he planted 50 rolls of corn, he would have a bigger harvest. I think that that's just practical common sense. So when you sow your seed today, it's going to do two things. We're the only ministry in the world that this can be accomplished through, the only ministry. And the reason why that it works so well is because God gave it to me. And God told me this. He said, I want you to tell the people to sow a bountiful seed, a good seed. And when they sow a seed, then I, Jehovah Jireh, is going to produce for them a bountiful harvest. So when you sow a bountiful seed, then you will produce and receive a bountiful harvest from God. Let me make it clear. I can't give you a financial harvest spiritually like Jesus can. I can't do it. So you're going to get a great harvest from the Lord Jesus Christ. But the second thing that you're going to get, which no ministry can do it, none. There's not one ministry, not one church, not one evangelist, not one prophet that can do this for you. The only one that can do it is the Wealthy Place Church. And here's what's going to happen. When you sow that seed, not only are you going to get a bountiful harvest from the Lord Jesus Christ, but you're also going to get a harvest and catch the attention of Pastor Chitwood. Now, why do you want to catch my attention? Believe me, you should catch my attention. Trust me, these great people are very glad that they caught my attention. And you should want to catch my attention. And the way that you catch my attention is when you sow a bountiful harvest, a bountiful seed, then you're going to be able to go on to our platinum list. Now, not many people will go on the platinum list because we'll have it capped at so many. See, the Lord told me that I should not let anybody in the wealthy place master class that is not of like faith. He, he said that we need to be in one mind and one accord. That's in the book of Acts chapter 2. So we have to be in one mind and one accord. And in order to do that, we can't have one person that doesn't believe in wealth and one person that believes in poverty sitting next to a multimillionaire. The Lord spoke that to me clearly. So what I want to show you is that you get two benefits when you sow a bountiful seed. One, you get a great harvest from the Lord Jesus Christ. God is going to produce a harvest in your life. I believe that. And I believe you do too. The second thing you're going to receive is you're going to be able to go onto the platinum list, which is going to allow you the opportunity to, to enroll in the Wealthy Place Master Class when it's released. Now, there'll be no way for you to get into the Master Class, the Wealthy Place Master Class, if you're not on the platinum list. Believe me, the day and time that we live, you need to be on this list. Now, you can do that by sowing a seed right now at iccmworldwide.org. You can do it there, or you can also do it at the wealthyplacechurch.org. Those are the things you need to do. Now, you can also call 800-854-5891. If you want to sow a seed with your credit card, you can send that and you can sow that. Now, my email address is this. Now, this is important. It's info at wealthyplacechurch.org. Info at wealthyplacechurch.org. Now, there's two ways that you can sow this seed. Now, let me say this to you, and you can, you can use whatever terms and language that you want to use, but I'm only doing what God told me to do. If you sow $10, it is not going to get my attention. 
you need to sow a good seed. Well, how much, Pastor Chitwood? That's up to you and God. It's not up to me. But you need to sow a seed that's going to not only produce a harvest by God, but also going to catch my attention because as soon as it catches my attention, that I'm going to put you on the platinum list. And when you go on the platinum list, then you will be able to enroll in the Wealthy Place Master Class. You can do that by sowing at wealthyplacechurch.org or calling 800 854 5891. You can call that number and sow your seed. I'll tell you, it's wealthy ground. And if you want a wealthy harvest, then you need to sow into wealthy ground. You don't need to sow into somebody that's broke. You need to sow into someone that can help you release that. Now, distraction is an area that causes much pain if you allow it to come into your life. Number one, you should stop comparing yourself to others. I told you the other day that this will devastate you if you try to compare yourself to others. I urge you not to compare yourself with others. Here's why. Because God created you as an original not as some copy. You're an original. You're wealthy and you're valuable. You have a dream and I'm going to help you make your dream come true. I promise you that. I made these great people in here millionaires. I've done it 1,033 times. I can do it for you. And many of them, including Jeff and and, and, and even Becky, they, they, they didn't really know that they could make millionaire status, but they, they talk like a millionaire. And they're, they're, I teach all of my protégés. You don't walk around uh, pri- prideful and, and, and with an arrogance about you. That's not what we are. These people are great people, but they talk success. They talk me. And when they get around, they don't talk about disease. They don't talk about people that's in poverty, except that we want to help you get out of poverty. It's important that you need to know that you need to stop comparing yourself to others. Some of you are distracted by things that you don't even recognize as a distraction. Until you recognize and deal with them, they will continue to keep you from reaching the plateau that God has designed for you. Where is that? The wealthy place. God wants you to live in a wealthy place. He wants you to drive a nice wealthy car. The reasons that some of you just settle for good is instead of reaching for the best is because of distractions. Number two, you have the distraction of worry. You know, worry is like paying interest on a debt that, that you'd ever even owed. First Corinthians chapter 7, verse 32, the Living Bible says, In all you do, I want you to be free from worry. In all that you do, not just some things, in all that you do, I want you to be free from worry. Paul commended this in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. He said, don't worry about anything. So some people are delaying their success and delaying their wealth from coming because they're worried about things. It's important that you understand that people are easily distracted. Difficulties on concentrating, lack of motivation. I'm here to give you motivation to ignite that fire in you so that you can execute what God has placed in you. You need to be in this wealthy place master class. I I can't emphasize enough to you, ladies and gentlemen, how that you need to be in this wealthy place master class. I promise you, it will change your life. If you do what all of these great people did, you will have a wealthy life. I don't don't know if you really want a wealthy life or if you just want to talk about a wealthy life, but I'm tired of especially Christians talking a good game but not getting in the game and performing and accomplishing and crossing the finish line. I need for you to be in the winner's circle, not the loser's circle. Which circle do you choose? The winner's circle or the the loser's circle? I, I don't know that that's what God told me. He says, I can't afford to have any people in the wealthy place master class that doesn't see themselves as a winner, that doesn't see themselves as wealthy, that doesn't see themselves as accomplishing something great here on this earth. I'm excited, and I guess you can tell that the wealthy place master class is going to go worldwide. And there'll be few people that will be in it, but you need to get on the platinum list. How do you do that? By catching my attention. 
Don't worry about God. God will automatically see your seed and will reward you and give you a harvest. That's a fact. But you have to now catch my attention if you want on the platinum list. Why? So you can be allowed to enroll in the Wealthy Place Master Class. I promise you it's going to change your life. So it's important that you understand that worry, worry will distract. Listen, worry drains you of your energy. It drains you of your creativity. And it drains you of your get up and go spirit. Those three things there will cause you to have delayed success. And I dare say that many people will die broke. They'll have to borrow money to bury you in a grave somewhere because you didn't act and do what you were called to do. It will drain you of your energy, worry of financial bills and finance charges. It'll drain you of that stuff. It's horrible. I've seen people kill themselves over that. And right here in Fort Lauderdale, the man two aisles over where I live, the man shot himself back years ago when the market went to that, what they call uh, uh, the, the, the stock market dropped down so bad. He shot himself. So financial things will drain you of energy or drain your creativity and it will mainly drain you of that get up and go spirit. Some of you need to get up and go. And that's what we want to do at the Wealthy Place Master Masterclass. Now you can do that. You can change your life instead of talking about it. You've talked about it for years at Thanksgiving and at Christmas and at Easter and all of your family reunions and all the things that you do. You talk about birthday parties. You talk about, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I, I'm going to, I'm going to have a brand new house. I'm going to get this house. I'm going to go to Hawaii for a week's vacation, two weeks vacation. I, I'm not going to stay in the, the motel six anymore. I'm not going to eat at red lobster anymore. I'm going to start eating at the fine restaurants. I'm going to start staying in the nice hotel and you still haven't done it. It's because that you need a coach to prompt you to do that. And that coach is me, Pastor Michael Chipwood. And that's what I'm going to do. Now, I hope you can take it. If you can't take it, then you don't need to enroll. Just that simple. Now, let me point two things out to you quickly. If you sow nothing, you'll get nothing. And you'll lose two things. I want to give those to you. If you sow nothing, you get nothing and you lose two things. The number one thing you lose is you lose a blessing and a harvest from God Almighty. He can't bless something if you don't give a seed. If you don't plant or sow a seed, God cannot bless it. And the second thing that you lose, something that nobody else can offer you, is you lose catching my attention going on to the platinum list so that you have the privilege of enrolling in the Wealthy Place Master Class. You lose two things if you don't sow a seed today. You gain two things if you sow a seed. It's just the opposite. If you sow a seed, a bountiful seed, a good seed, somebody asked me the other day, said, well, how much do you think I should go? Look, that's between you and God, not me. I don't know. I mean, Jeff, how much? I mean, it's important. You know, the first time that Jeff came, he sold $500 because he wanted to catch my attention. It was a, it's a thousand dollars. He sold a thousand dollars. I'm not telling you how much to sow. All I'm telling you is, is that you need to catch my attention. Why? I'm going to put you on the platinum list. And when you go on the platinum list, then that allows you the privilege of enrolling in the wealthy place master class. Now, I'm not going to have someone that's going to be a millionaire sitting right beside somebody that believes you ought to be broke. It's not going to happen. And I'm going to protect you from that. I promise you that everybody you'll be sitting beside or watching online, they'll be a millionaire or a multi-millionaire. I promise you that. Because I'm going to screen them. And it's important that we do that. Now, the last thing is the distraction of offense. If you have an offense in your life, the Bible says that you should take care of it. And you simply ask forgiveness Go to them, get the air cleared, and move on with your life. I know a lady now that's been divorced for 18 years. And almost every event that we have, she brings up how that her husband, ex-husband, did her wrong. 18 years. Ladies and gentlemen, this offense has got to go. So I'm going to pray now in the name of Jesus 
that any offense that you have against your brother, your sister, ex-husband, ex-wife, sons and daughters, whoever it may be, I'm praying now that it goes in Jesus' name. Release it. Let it go. Just let it go. And you'll feel a big burden to come off of you right now. You feel it? You'll feel a, you'll, 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 you'll get light. You'll get lighter. Till you let that go, it's like a big heavy weight on your shoulders. Let it go. Most of the time that you're offended about, the person that you're offended against don't even know it. Let it go. Let it go. The Father, I pray that you'll bless each person that's been on the Wealthy Place Church broadcast today. And I thank you today for letting me have a separation and hearing your voice and knowing that those that really want to be successful and wealthy and happy in this life, that they sign up immediately by sowing a bountiful seed. Father, I know that you will bless the seed and return a harvest because you've done it for me and you've done it for all of these in here. You've given us a harvest. We thank you for that. Thank you, Jesus. But Father, we also know that we need to be on the platinum list so that we can enroll into the Wealthy Place Masterclass. And Father, I ask you today to move them now, move them now, move them now. In Jesus' name, amen. You can do that by going to the wealthyplacechurch.org. They'll bring the list to me and that I'm the only one that decides. I may let the master mentoring team uh, sit in on that decision and I may not, but I have the final decision. I am the CEO. I am the pastor. I will make the final decision. You need to make sure that you sow a significant seed. When I see it on the list, then I will make the selection if I'm going to put you on the platinum list. It's just that simple. We're not going to have people in there that's going to distract us and distract you from learning and going to the next dimension in life. Thank you for being with us today on the Wealthy Place Church. We're glad that you're here. Our website's there, wealthyplacechurch.org. You can go there and sow your seed. And I'm expecting to see you sow a bountiful seed today. Don't procrastinate because you know that fear and procrastination are twins. They have the same DNA. Sow that seed today, and they'll bring the list to me at the end of the broadcast, and then I'll be able to notice how much you gave. I'll look, just like Jesus did. He sat down at the front. And he said, she gave more than they all did. She gave everything that she had. I want you to sow a bountiful seed today, a good seed, that will be a harvest from the Lord Jesus Christ. And then it also catches my attention, which is the CEO. And I will make the final decision. No one else will do it. And I hope that you'll get on the platinum list. Sow a good seed today. You can do that at the wealthyplacechurch.org. If you want to give us a call or write us, you can info at wealthyplacechurch.org. Wealthyplacechurch.org. Info at wealthyplacechurch.org. Or call us at 800 854-5891. Well, thank you for being with us today on the Wealthy Place Church. I just want to decree and declare over your life that things are going to change and that you're going to do something you've never done before. I believe that you're going to be stirred, stirred, stirred up. This completes this three-part series, and I want you to go back and listen to them and watch them again. And again, and let this get down into you and just know that God has something extreme for you. Extreme makeover is coming to your life. Now, if you'll believe that, it will happen. So thank you for being with us today. God bless you. We look forward to seeing you on our next broadcast. Be sure that you check our wealthyplacechurch.org for our schedule. And I believe that something big is going to happen. Remember, if I can change the way that you think, I can change the way that you live. And finally, my final thought is simply when you want something you've never had, you have to do something you've never done. And, and by the way, the worst is over and the best is yet to come. I'll see you next time. Thank you for joining us. Go to wealthyplacechurch.org to give your tithe and sow your seed. 